The TV is my shepherd, I shall not want. It makes me lie down on the sofa. It leads me away from the faith. It destroys my soul. It leads me into the paths of sex and violence for the sponsor's sake. Yeah, though I walk in the shadow of the Christian responsibility, there will be no interruption for the TV is with me. Its cable and its remote control, they comfort me. It prepares a commercial before me in the presence of my worldliness. It anoints my head with humanism and consumerism. My coveting runneth over. Surely laziness and ignorance shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of watching TV forever. By midnight tonight, more than 1,700 television stations around the country, including WNBC, will have completed a historic change that was years in the making. The transition from analog to digital broadcast. Starts, Starts at, at four, four today, today, right after Oprah. Oprah. Well, well, we are in countdown, countdown mode in just over one minute. It will be the end of an era for television. ABC7 is going digital. Now, most people in Southern California will not see any difference. What you will see right now is this countdown that you see in our screen here. We're 53 seconds away now from making the switch. Let's get into what action they should be taking right now. If you haven't acted already, what's the most important thing you need to do? All right, you've got options. Number one, you can go out and buy a new digital television set. You can go out and buy a new digital television set. A new digital television set. Leaving many with a last minute scramble to buy a new TV or convert the old. <laughs> While in Cincinnati, more than 400 people waited in line to get free converter boxes. There weren't enough for everyone. I got here about 1.30 this morning and I figured, figured it'd be a mob scene. This is a change in the way we communicate and in about 10 seconds, the old analog way that has ushered in television for the last 60 to 70 years will be no more. We're going to count down to four, three. Bill Beam is going to push the button over here. Two, one. Bill, push the button. Digital 7 should be coming on. Now, if you have digital television already, nothing's changed. <laughs> I'm Rob Johnson. We're coming to you for the first time in our new home and in HD. Symbols are used by Masonic lodges, witch covens, Satanists, and alchemists to directly access parts of the brain which respond to strong shapes and colors. Just as the saying goes, a picture paints a thousand words, so magical symbols can be used to convey a multi-layered message or command. The use of symbols to convey the desire or will of the magician is generally referred to as sigil magic. CBS 11 News at 10 starts right now. Live from Fort Worth, Dallas, and all of North Texas with coverage you can count on, this is CBS 11 News at 10. CBS 11 News at 10 starts right now.
coverage you can count on. CBS 11 News at 10. Starting right now on ABC's This Week. Out of control, the Ebola outbreak spreading fast. And now, the race to save two Americans stricken with a killer virus. This morning, breaking details on the emergency mission to bring the first patient home. From ABC News, This Week with George Stephanopoulos begins now. Good morning. It's an image sparking hope and fear for so many Americans. Christian missionary and Ebola patient Dr. Kent Brantley back in the U.S. It's Friday and that means it's not top 10 time. That's why you can't. That's why you can't. That's why you can't. Here again, the shape this arch with this 90 degree I know this shot is a little blurry right here because it's just sort of a transition screen and again these are just and understand these are highly technical look at how detailed all of this is just for a fraction of a second of time which means this is being targeted towards your subconscious mind on purpose because these folks that are making these things know that your conscious mind does not perceive these things at this frame rate. You cannot even pick up on it consciously, which is the whole point. So I'll continue to go slowly forward, and we'll notice certain shapes again. This interlocking pattern will be visible over and over and over again to you in different mnemonic circles, sequences, on different channels on TV in different programs that you're being programmed with and uh, so here we go here's another spinning mnemonic that comes right out of the center of that one and everything spins in here I'm gonna kind of just go through this now until we come to some more parts and again there's the count up so as this thing starts off it's a count up so watch it's it shows you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's a count up okay and then the next process is a count down and what they do and all of this is well documented and if you research uh, mind control and hypnosis and hypnotic techniques it's well documented if you want to bring put somebody in a very very deep trance one way to do it is to bring them up and down in and out of hypnotic states Police say it's a sheer miracle that no one was killed by the car bomb in County Down. This is a Fox News alert. Fox Good afternoon.
afternoon. I'm Stacy Scheibel, and this is First at Four. We begin. We begin with news from Pinellas County, where yet another child has been left in a car. <laughs> Live from the financial capital of the world, the New York Stock Exchange, this is Squawk on the Street. Let's go around the horn. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mark Haynes. More sour economic news, pushing the futures uh, significantly lower. The morning after stocks hit a five and a half year low. From the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, this is CBS 2 News at 11. Blown out of the Blown out of the sky, a fireball and smoke after a passenger plane is shot down over Ukraine. And tonight, the world wants to know who's behind the attack. Racist remarks believed to be made by Clippers owner Donald Sterling. Plain and simple, when you heard those comments, Magic, what was your reaction? Well, Sage, I was really upset. You know, um, you can't understand how hurt I was and also... I was hurt for all African Americans and all minorities. You want to. Block President Obama from taking. You want to block President Obama from taking more executive actions to allow some of the illegals already in this country to stay here. You want to do that before moving to deal with the new crisis of kids coming from Central America. Why? Well, what I want to do is solve the crisis. Um, and on this immediate I, crisis. I, I, I don't want to block action. What I want on this immediate I, crisis. I, I, I don't want to block action. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached a historic crossroads. The globalists are collapsing our republic right now in front of our very eyes. They are destroying national sovereignty to... bring us into the North American Union. Crony capitalists that have created the planetary corporate system that we know as the New World Order. This is a Fox News alert from America's News Headquarters. I'm Andy Levy. Video now of the first ever parade of heroes in the Belgian city of Brussels. The parade ordered by King of... Will they get 
severe, I'll have the late. Hi everybody and welcome to this year's Free Your Mind Conference 3 in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's our great honor to be making this presentation to you from our home here in Uruguay, South America. And we're taking a moment just to tell you a couple of things. With the mnemonic circles, it's been our research findings that it's the most prevalent and strongest form of mind control being used across all of mass media today. And it has the strongest hold on the consciousness of mankind of, out of all the technologies that we've researched. And in this video here, especially this very first chapter that you're going to see, we're going to actually show you the mnemonic circles so that you'll know what they look like. But it's very important, maybe right now, to take a moment and protect yourself spiritually and be, prepare yourself spiritually for the mnemonic circles because they are indeed mind control. But uh, if we don't show you the examples, there's no way you'll ever know exactly what we're talking about. So, Yeah, so this information is very, very important, and we hope that you'll take it seriously and share it with others, and also do your own research. So after this video, we will be Skyping with you live from Uruguay. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. And again, just prepare yourself spiritually for this presentation. Uh, the video clips that you're going to see are indeed mind control. And uh, pay attention to how you feel while you're watching this presentation. If you notice a change in your emotions, then that should be a very big key for you to understand that this does have power over your mind. So we hope that everybody learns a lot, and we'll see you after the presentation. This is a change in the way we communicate, and in about 10 seconds, the old analog way that has ushered in television for the last 60 to 70 years will be no more. We're going to count down to four, three, Bill Beam is going to push the button over here, two, one, Bill, push the button. Digital 7 should be coming on. Now, if you have digital television already, nothing's changed. Center. It's Friday, and that means it's not top ten time, and it's not every. In 2001, 
A real-world exercise tested the emergency response to a bioterror attack on the continental United States. The operation was called Dark Winter. Within just a few days, the simulation spiraled out of control. The operation predicted a rapid breakdown in essential institutions, civil disorder, and massive civilian casualties. Dark Winter has revealed how vulnerable we've become. Our lifestyle, our security, our safety, depends on a delicate and unstable economy. We've created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. Oil, power, shipping, transport. We live in a complex world. Happy September. I'm Greg Kelly. Good morning. I'm Lisa Murphy. Rosanna Scotto is off today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, look at what's going on outside. It's a chilly start, uh, kind of fall-like out there, but there will be lots of sun and temperatures in the 70s. Mike Woods has the rest of the forecast coming up. And preparing for the swine flu, what the city is doing to protect residents from another possible outbreak this fall. A raging wildfire still threatening thousands of homes in California. <laughs> News World Headquarters in New York. This is America's Election Headquarters. We are just an hour away now from the first results of the 2014 midterm elections. After months of campaigning, polls are set to close in six states. Good evening, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. And I'm Brett Baer. At stake tonight, control of the United States Senate. Fox News alert. Fox Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Scheibel, and this is First at Four. We begin. We begin with news from Pinellas County, where yet another child has been left in a car. CBS 11 News at 10 starts right now. Live from Fort Worth, Dallas, and all of North Texas, with coverage you can count on, this is CBS 11 News at 10.
The subconscious mind is the data storage center of the brain. It recognizes simple shapes and colors and takes in any information that the conscious mind cannot figure out. The subconscious is not just a storage center, however. It is in control of our five senses and it makes important decisions even before the conscious mind becomes aware of them. The subconscious mind is what determines our view of reality and how we manifest it. It is of the utmost importance that we are careful what we program it with. The flicker rate of the television was purposely designed to put the viewer into a hypnotic trance. Today at 60 Hertz or 60 frames per second your conscious mind is overwhelmed and the subconscious takes over. This means that the conscious mind does not have a chance to logically discern what it sees. Instead the unaltered information is accepted and stored by the subconscious mind where our perceptions of the world are formed. Children under the age of seven are naturally in a hypnagogic state trying to learn the rules of this world they were born into. These are the most vulnerable ones that we need to watch out for. Children who watch television are being programmed with what they will base their entire lives on. And who is doing the programming? Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy. Quite smart. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. Another way to put you into a trance is by manipulating your brain waves with sound and light frequencies. A timed beat or imagery set to a specific frequency can change your brain wave pattern in a short amount of time. Brain waves are electrical messages sent back and forth between neurons in the brain. Of the five different types of brain waves, the alpha wave is known to be the best for learning new ideas. Advertisers know it to be a fact. They depend on the hypnotic effect of the television to put viewers in the alpha brain wave that connects them to the subconscious mind. When you watch television, your brain waves change. The first thing that happens is you go from beta wave, normal waking consciousness, to alpha wave a relaxed state in which you can easily be programmed with encoded information and triggers. Alpha brain waves link the conscious mind with the subconscious.
A sigil is a symbol that has a special meaning. It gets its meaning from whoever creates it. You can easily create a sigil on a piece of paper by writing down your intention in a short sentence. You then cross out all the vowels and any repeated consonants. You then combine the remaining letters into a picture. The idea is to hang the picture up in a place where you will see it every day. Your subconscious mind will recognize the symbol you drew and give it energy, thereby manifesting your wish in the physical world. Sigils are everywhere. Our subconscious mind recognizes the meanings of the sigils, having seen them over and over again. Sigils that have been around a long time have more power, especially if they are seen by millions of people every day. This is why advertisers and others who want to program your mind with their wishes use sigils on television, in the movies, on cell phones, on the internet, in video games, on billboards and magazines everywhere. Just like many other forms of magic, sigils can be used for good, but some people have bad intentions. The dark magicians of the Illuminati use sigils to program the masses with the dark reality they desire, and then the people, unwittingly, end up aiding in the manifestation of that reality. Certain sigils are even embedded with the energy of demons. The act of sigil making is not a new idea. It was practiced long ago and written about by a magician called King Solomon. He wrote about 72 demons, their powers and their sigils. In his book called The Lesser Key of Solomon Goetia, it states, The operations of ceremonial magic require the five senses sight, sound, taste, smell, and touch, which come together to form the mind. The impressions of the five senses produce unusual brain changes, which form a perceived reality within the mind. The spirits of the Goetia are portions of the human brain. Their seals, or sigils, therefore, represent methods of stimulating or regulating those particular spots of the brain through the eye. The television is the easiest way to hypnotize and program a human being's subconscious mind. Magicians know that the conscious mind is not capable of magical work because it is so focused on the logical, rational, mundane world. It is essential to be in a subconscious state of mind to perform magic. This is exactly what happens when you watch TV. There is a book by Fritz Springmeier and Cisco Wheeler called The Illuminati Formula Used to Create an Undetectable Total Mind-Controlled Slave. This book states Within the occult world, the entire study of demonology is wrapped around the geometric shapes that serve as focal points for demons and the portals by which demons can enter the human body. A demon doesn't have to be materialized to enter into a body. Geometric shapes, which are believed to attract demons, are placed into the internal subconscious worlds of slaves. The Illuminati's satanic families may use various methods of magic, but the Lesser Key of Solomon is known to be on their required reading list. It is part of the magic they do every day. They use trauma-based mind control on their own children, who are horribly abused and turned into robots who have no feelings. Their brains have naturally dissociated from pain and trauma so many times that they have multiple personality disorder. They have different alters or alternate personalities. This same process on a more subtle level can be accomplished through television, movies, and video games. The dark magicians use trauma-based mind control in the programming. For example, 
If you are watching a TV show, you might see something very violent, traumatizing, and then they show you something nice and soothing, and then they show you another trauma. They repeat this cycle over and over again because they are creating different personalities or alters within your psyche. The brain naturally dissociates when it is faced with a trauma it cannot handle. What they are actually doing is controlling people's subconscious minds and therefore since we are all reality creators we all have the capability to manifest reality if we are being embedded through the television with whatever information the Illuminati dark magicians are using then TV viewers are actually manifesting the dark reality the Illuminati desires they are using TV viewers as an energy source to keep their dark, fear-based reality going. The vibrational frequencies of sound and light can be used in television programming to carry messages to the subconscious mind. These messages can be encoded with triggers that will make the person feel or act a certain way when they hear the same sound or see the same light pattern again. It conditions the mind to have a pre-programmed reaction to what it sees and hears. There are numerous patents found at the United States Patent Office that utilize sound and light frequency to alter brain waves, human behavior, and even consciousness itself. The neural pathways of the brain are constantly reforming themselves, based on the information that comes in. The pathways are set according to what your daily habits are. When you change your habits, or just change your mind, you begin to form new pathways. You can actually train your brain this way. However, if you are allowing someone else to train your brain, you are giving them the ability to reform and reshape the neural pathways of your brain for you. You begin to accept new perceptions as your own, not realizing it was an outside source that programmed your thoughts. There are certain frequencies that are harmoniously based on sacred geometry. One of these frequencies is 432 Hertz. For thousands of years, the musical standard for tuning instruments was A equals 432 hertz. However, the American Standards Association decided to follow the lead of Nazi Joseph Goebbels and change the standard tuning frequency for all musical instruments and music to 440 hertz. Modern music worldwide is now tuned to this harmful, disharmonious vibration literally off-key, that agitates the human frequency and promotes hostility and antisocial behavior. The frequencies of human emotions have now been measured and recorded. They can be sent through television and radio transmissions to the masses or to one individual in particular by targeting their personal brainwave resonance. The screen of the device whether it is television, computer, or cell phone, can pulse the frequency at the user. These emotional transmissions are often based on fear and anger. The best way to ensure you are not being pulsed with harmful frequencies is to turn the device off.
Persephone hoc mondo ipsis! In nomine Dei Ubilis! This is an actual demonic seal. It's a demonic sigil, which is the demonic sigil of one of the Earl demons, Furfur. And this comes from the Lesser Key of Solomon, Goetia. This is an actual demonic ritual being performed right before your eyes on mainstream media. In our limited time here, we've shown you several examples of the mnemonic circles. We've shown you a cursory overview of sigil magic and dark sigil magic, such as the sigils that you see in front of you now. These are demonic seals, sealing in particular demons that comes from the Lesser Key of Solomon and Galicia. We've shown you that they perform actual demonic rituals on television and in the movies right before your eyes. The question is, why would they do that? Are they doing that because they want you to see these rituals, or are they doing that because on some level, on some subconscious level, you're participating with them, and giving this ritual energy and bringing these demons into your reality? Now I'm going to show you another set of sigils. The next set of sigils are the sigils that all English-speaking people use these 26 sigils right here. Now, it may be a new concept for many of you to think of these as sigils, but they, they are indeed sigils. They have a particular shape, each one of them, a particular frequency that they're pronounced with, and they're used to convey information to people. So just these shapes that everybody is taught to spell with can be put into a sentence which will convey very technical information at times. Let's take a look at a sentence here. All of you can read this sigil magic. It's English sigil magic. It's Masonic. It's a Masonic language. It's a dark sigil magic language and it also has certain aspects of it that are reverse, the reverse of truth. I'm going to show you a few of those examples. Here's a sigil, love. We all know what that means, we think anyhow. We're taught what that means and we think we have that. We use this word to describe the feeling in our heart when we feel this feeling. If you look at it in reverse, it's evil. Just something to think about. The word live or live also, of course, that, that word backwards is evil. Now just ponder for a moment the fact that every time these monsters show you their psyop and get you to participate in it on a subconscious level, they always have this in common. Every time you look at that weapon to watch the Psy out, they tell you. They tell you what it is. Even in foreign countries, for some reason, you have the same English dark sigil magic when evil is before you. This happens, I believe, because they're required to tell you what's happening on some level and this is one way. It's probably a whole nother presentation to go too far into word magic or the backwards nature of the English language. But we will look at these sigils here where they take the English sigil language <clears throat> and they brand it. They brand it into your mind the same as a you use a hot iron to brand a cow. 
it's the same thing it's branded into your mind these logos these brands and these are all sigils and keep in mind this information as we go forward so we start at the beginning and we have something that should be very familiar to all of you let's see here as they as this um, starting board claps together you get the bright white light which is part of the hypnosis induction also there's a count up and we've noticed that with the mnemonics where they use count up and count down methods at the beginning they'll count up to bring your trance state up to the frequency that they want for you to view your program that you're being programmed with and the countdown will usually happen in the program itself and we see these circles come into view more clearly here and of course these circles these opposing arcs are very similar or precisely the same when you start investigating these one to the next from news agencies all the news agencies that use them they're very similar or exactly the same so this is being used to unlock your subconscious it's also pretty obvious that this is a form of hypnosis anybody can see that that when you spin circles in front of somebody's face and they're already sitting in front of a machine the changes their brain frequency due to the frame rate and the pulsing of the light and the harmonics being used it's pretty easy to see that this is part of that same system. You can see many examples where the circles are exactly the same. Now, why are we seeing this everywhere, all over the place? And why, if it's just some innocent, just some innocent, benign uh, way to have an intro on your your video, your newscast, or whatever it is that you're watching? why are they always the same the answer is that these are all sigils and they affect your mind they're using every possible means to get into your mind and program you with the reality which happens to be a dark reality an untruthful reality and they want human beings to manifest that reality We've all been taught that it's a heliocentric world that we live in. Here's a mnemonic. We'll go back and look at that again. Using, first they show you the very incorrect and the lie, the heliocentric model, which is false. And then it goes right into the spinning mnemonics, which has the again a very familiar shape to it concentric spinning circles and this thing is covered in sigils we see them all throughout this it's shocking from our point of view to see this over and over again in so many places and we hope that everybody watching this presentation is starting to catch on. This is one of the companies that's responsible for a lot of the mnemonics, a lot of this dark magic. It's called the CG Brothers, and we encourage all the researchers out there to look into these people, as well as this company here, which seems to be linked directly to the CG Brothers, Lumbre. Notice the dragon at the top. Now we're going to look at another mnemonic, the one that you saw in the beginning of this presentation. That's made by the CG Brothers, and it's one of the most horrific examples of mnemonic mind control that we've found so far. So this is the uh, opening couple of frames here, and I'm going to be going over this very meticulously and slowly, but pr please remember what you've seen already. This has been played at full speed at the beginning of this, and 
Uh, we've played this for other friends of ours before this presentation, and the reaction was uh, pretty much the same, that everybody felt uh, negative feelings from this, from watching this. But um, to point out a few of the features, this is a mnemonic, and it's a side view. The shapes that you see here in these concentric circles, these partial arches laid out, are again very similar or the same to the opposing circles that we've seen in many other mnemonics that we've investigated so far. As we see here, uses sigils against your subconscious in a very big way. If you notice any of these individual boxes here with these shapes in it, I'll go back and forth and you can see that in each of these boxes these shapes actually change and pulse. Go back and forth and if you watch one box in particular or a couple of them you'll see that the sigils inside change shape as this moves. And this is at such a fast frame rate that the only thing that this can be talking to is your subconscious mind because your conscious mind has been bypassed in this mnemonic. Here's a good close-up of it. And I'll just kind of go back and forth for you and you see how all these sigils pop in and out. Everything happening so fast that it's speaking directly to your subconscious. Just amazing how much detail. Now, if this is, isn't speaking to your subconscious mind, what is the purpose in having so much detail flashing before you like this? I'll go forward now from here. Each one of these frames is just for a split second. going forward slowly the detail is amazing in this now this is a very interesting part of this particular mnemonic I'm gonna go forward we have found many times and many of these things just for very few frames like this is just maybe 10 frames that goes through this uh, some type of digital programming. Now this looks very specific and it looks very much like some type of digital encoding, some type of language. And here's another, another logo sigil in your face. Sportia again. Now remember this this thing could be using anything. They could have uh, any logo they want in there and if you look around at these things you'll find that many of these dark corporations are using these mnemonics against you and for some reason we have in the middle of this mnemonic the weather is being addressed here and changing before you I don't think that there's uh, anything here that's uh, just a coincidence. I mean, the, all, everything lines up. Everything lines up with hypnosis, transinduction, sigil magic, the harmonics in this particular one, especially, but in, in many, if not most, or all of the mnemonics, the harmonics being used is also just very uh, strong. You can feel it. You can feel. A change in your emotions when you watch these and then with the harmonics when you can hear them all of this is, is speaking to your subconscious mind and the whole while driving home sigils digital encoding there's another one for you quite profound I think it would be hard for anybody to see this and not be able to discern for themselves that there's something not right going on here with these. And then just if you watch this at full speed like you did earlier in the presentation, it definitely has a change 
an effect on your on your psyche when you watch this. This is the last mnemonic that we'll look at here in slow motion. And Bonnie and I really hope that everybody's going to uh, do their own research on this once you've figured this out and look into it even deeper. This is one that we went over before on our Global Epidemic Exposed Television Sigil Magic, which is found at our website, awakenvideo.org. And uh, I'll go back here for a second just to show you that this is another example of the beginning of this uh, ESPN show. They use a count up. And again, this is very typical. Uh, they want your tranced out attention, but nevertheless, they want you up at the top. So they count up. And then this whole show, as you go deeper into it, is about a countdown. It starts at 10 with the spinning mnemonics that are just, this is just a great example. Here's the one where we have the QR code or a coding that looks like the QR in this band here and in the red band as well. Now ask yourself, why would that be there? If it, you know, it, it, there's just too many things lining up showing you what this is. Spinning circles, which are pretty obvious uh, way to put somebody in a hypnosis. Counting up and counting down right in your face. Bright flashing lights, also well-known trans induction technique. And sigils, this one in particular is talking about, you have gold rings, a copper ring here, a silver, a silver ring here. And uh, if you start studying the Goetia and start studying about the demons and spirits, you know that these different colored metals are different levels of the demons. And Bonnie has gone into uh, some explanation of that already. So we'll continue forward here. They begin with 10, and then they give you this very, uh, one day this will all be seen for what it is. Very sad to see humans in a state where this is all they think about is playing games. But uh, this is a zoom in here of a mnemonic that happens just to keep you going subconsciously. They put this mnemonic even in the the uh, screenshots where they're or in the video where they're showing you the game, the program, and again, bright spinning circles, and then into the next one. Countdown, bright flash of light again and then more idiocy. Okay, so we'll play this in slow motion one time. Just amazing, folks. I hope that uh, by now in this presentation that we've offered you enough evidence for you to take it from here and do this research yourself we really encourage everybody to look into this and and see what's going on here and it's clear that these Illuminati, these satanic, Luciferian, whatever it is, you know, there's many names. We know the Masons are extremely heavily involved. As a matter of fact, I mean I no longer look at any Mason as an innocent person. I mean if you're giving your energy to the Masonic order, then you're a part of this because it's clear that the Masons are behind much of this darkness that's happening. If Once you investigate, the Masons' fingerprint is everywhere. So we hope that everybody will take this up themselves and research this and help warn your brothers and sisters who are still watching the weapon known as television.
And I'll also mention too that a fellow that, that uh, has been in touch with me for an awful long time, his brother was in the CIA, or is in the CIA. He will never talk about the CIA to him. He, I mean, he'll never give anything away whatsoever, except one bit of advice. He said, never watch the television. Never watch the television. It's the greatest scientific indoctrination tool ever devised. Haven't you figured that out? It's changed the whole culture of nations, not just one nation. Why do you think it was mandatory that everybody in Britain give access to televisions by the government? Why do you think China is under the, the same program to get everyone to the TV right now? Because they love to have you entertained. Do you really think that? And India is on the same route as well right now too. Most of your ideas and your opinions and how you emulate, because you emulate things, you mimic what you see, as Charles Galton, Darwin and others have said in the past. It becomes you, you become it. And that's what's happened. It's been very, very, very successful. Never watch the television. You can't watch a movie unless you do it critically, if you watch it critically. Not there to enjoy it. Remember what they say, it's your emotions that get you on. And it's interwoven all these emotional themes all through movies. You're played like a harp. And they embed ideas in you, into you, along with the movies. And predictive programming too. So you'll accept that which is still to come. And you'll, and you'll behave the same way as the characters in the movie when it comes. Oh well, what can you do? I'll just watch much music or television. Yeah. You're given a mind of your own. And you've got to use it for yourself. And believe you me, if you ever had a nation or wanted a nation, you'd have to make sure that everyone took their turn. Everyone took their turn. Just like jury duty, to go in and oversee the guys that are supposed to be taking care of everything on your behalf. It's a tight club right now. It's been like that forever. Because they never intended to give you anything called democracy. Or, in fact, a republic. Gangs and fraternities run the systems of the countries. That's how they run. And under taxation, taxation, and it's true what Marx said, and it's true what Lenin said, but that part of it, all, all wealth comes from labor. And tax is another term for labor. When they take your labor from you and give you nothing back for it, that's called stealing and slavery. Slavery, folks. But no teacher told you that, did they? Look at the dictionaries, you can find an old enough one, because they keep changing them too. From Hamish myself from Ontario, Canada, it's good night, I mean your God, or your gods go with you. 